So for the project I'm working on right now, I'm taking a remote control car and I'm simulating it in NVIDIA Omniverse. Uh, this is what that looks like. I run it. Here you see suspension. It's driving. It's turning. Um, it still needs a lot of work, but I think you get the idea. And in my next few videos, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I just lay out the overall stage um, to set this up. And first, I want to show you um, just the basics. So here I've got my world. I'll leave this looks folder in here for now because whenever I bring in new materials, that's where they go. But I'll usually add physics materials to them. And so I've added this physics folder, or excuse me, this materials folder. I have this physics folder for the physics scene and any just physics only assets. I have the joints folder where I put all of my joints that run this mechanism on the car. And then I have this vehicles uh, where I, and this is where I keep all of my rigid bodies and um, all of the car parts that uh, move separately from each other exist in their own transform, kind of grouped together. Uh, finally, I've got this environment one. It, it, it's fine where it's at. You know, you've got to have a sky. Um, it really helps with the visualization. And uh, so real quick, I just want to go back to a fresh scene and show you how I set this up. Um, so I'll go File, New, and I don't know. Yeah, I'll save my changes. Great. So we have a brand new fresh scene. And just for my setup, um, I'll right click, or I'll go to the world. I'll add the stage to set up the axis to be a positive Z because that's how most CAD softwares um, do it. I'll do create physics, physics scene. Here's my physics scene. I'll, I'll go ahead and right click and I'll add a scope. Um, or excuse me, I'll create a scope, which acts like a folder. Drag this in there. Um, let's see what else. I'll create a physics ground plane. Create physics ground plane. Put that in that physics folder as well. Um, we can find a material for that. Um, let's see, we can search for ground. Sure, why not grass, huh? See, that brings in that looks folder I mentioned. And, uh, yep, there's some grass. I, you know what, let's do pea gravel instead. So I'll drag pea gravel in there. Let's delete the grass, let it load, see how that looks. This is a little big for me, and so I'll go into it and I'll scale it. Let's see, down here somewhere. Here you go, texture scale. Well, that made it even bigger. Sometimes I get that backwards. There we go. Yeah, that looks good, just for setting things up. And see here. Then I'll go ahead and uh, got our physics folder. Let's create a joint folder. And I just just letting you know right now, if you plan this ahead of time, I mean your structure might be very different from mine. Probably will be. But if you plan ahead time ahead of time and organize and rename things as you go, you will not regret it. Create a transform. Call it um. Vehicle, make this plural, there we go. And you can see, I'm just starting to get this organized. And uh, I think for the vehicle, and I think that's all I wanna cover for today. Um, I just wanna give you that tip that organizing your environment at, at the beginning is really gonna help you out and just show you the main categories that I have um, for this car simulation.